praise the lord welcome back to spiritual morsels today i'm so glad to be with you and i just want to thank all of you who prayed for my son today my josiah is healthy he's perfect he's normal uh, on sunday doctor examined him thoroughly and uh, he stopped all medicines and he said um, this child could have died he said uh, the sepsis from his tooth entered his blood stream and it affected multiple organs the doctor termed it as multiple organ dysfunction but at the same time he said this is a miracle god has done really amazing things yes and we know how he did it because of your prayers i have experienced and i have tasted how a corporate prayer works you know um God spoke to me last week when I was worried and I was praying for my son in the middle of the night. God said, "You know, child, I know that you, your husband and the small team along with you, if you pray, you are not going to cross this battle or you are not going to win this battle. This battle is too big for you." And so I am raising an army all over the world. And in the following days, we got a lot of phone calls from people all over the world. People who were fasting and praying, people who who conducted Zoom meetings just to pray for Josiah, people who would uh, sit through the night and have have chain prayers for Josiah. You know, people who who have never seen Josiah. God would wake people up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. and tell them specifically to pray for this child though they have never seen him. and many people told us that they saw visions and dreams about this child and they were inspired they were they were pushed by the holy spirit to pray for him and i just want to thank all of you who listened to the prompting of the holy spirit and prayed for him because i have tasted and seen the benefits of your prayer my son is alive and he is with me today if someone shows me this chocolate and explains to me about this chocolate saying if you open this wrapper you will find the silver wrapper inside it and then uh, you open the silver wrapper you will find the chocolate in small blocks you break a block and put it in your mouth it will melt in your mouth it is sweet and sugary and all that you see i will get an idea about the chocolate by listening to the person but the moment i decide to open it i decide to take it in my hand and i break it and i put it in my mouth i get to taste and see how this chocolate is the bible says taste and see that the lord is good till now all i knew about the chocolate the knowledge i gained by hearing about it but now i have the knowledge about this chocolate because i have tasted it I have tasted and seen and experienced the benefits of corporate prayer. The Bible says that when the church prayed fervently, God sent his angel and delivered Peter from prison. Herod was actually planning on killing him the next morning. Fervent prayer is amazing. Fervent prayer if God has called you to pray for people, let me encourage you friends, do not think that no one sees you do not think that you know i pray for those people and they become successful in the ministry people see them no one sees me this is something that devil comes and always puts into the minds of people who pray so that he can discourage them from praying but let me encourage you it's true maybe people won't see you maybe people won't even know that you prayed for them but there is somebody who watches you there is somebody who takes note of what you are doing In the book of Exodus chapter 17 we read about a battle a battlefield and we see Joshua who is in the forefront of the battlefield and um, uh, we know many people we see many people like Joshua who are in public ministry they are always out there in public and so we see them we can see what they are doing but the holy spirit mentions the name of three more people over there Moses Aaron and Hur it's so amazing we know Moses we know Aaron but who is her we don't know who he is but the holy spirit make sure make made sure that he mentioned his name because he was praying for Joshua it's so beautiful when you read the chapter it says because these three were praying for Joshua it says so Joshua won the battle isn't it beautiful because when we see somebody doing a successful public ministry we just see the person we don't see those who are praying for that person but let me encourage all of you who are prayer warriors there is a god who sees you 
there is a god who watches and takes note of all that you are doing it says he the holy spirit mentions the name of the prayer warriors over there first and then he mentions the name of joshua then he mentions that joshua uh, succeeded in the battle uh, let me encourage you you know god will first write your name in his book that so and so my daughter my son prayed for that person and so his ministry became successful that's exactly how god is going to write in his book and let me encourage you that your reward is not just in heaven it is not that when you go to heaven god will reward you no the bible says when we go further we say uh, in 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 chapter 31 we read about bezalel whom god had filled with all kinds of wisdom all kinds of knowledge it says the spirit of god dwelt in him god blessed him in a special way but who is bezalel he is the grandson of hur let me encourage you if you are a prayer warrior your children will be blessed it is not just that you will get a reward in heaven your children will be blessed on earth amen so friends if god has given you a ministry of praying for others of interceding for others i just want to encourage you to continue doing that the devil will definitely try to pull you back and to put you down but let me encourage you your one hour of prayer you know the the sacrifice that you made in the middle of the night of giving up your sleep for one hour or two hours or maybe during the day if you fast um and skip one meal or two meals let me tell you it is definitely a sacrifice for you but because of that sacrifice you are perhaps saving somebody's life you are perhaps saving a family from a big tragedy your ministry is not small it's amazing it's great and keep up the good work that you are doing